with this assurance and divine promise our great queen princess felt new enlightenment and security in her spirit convincing her that the end of that long protracted and prolix night of sin and of the ancient law was approaching and that the brightness of human redemption was about to dawn and because the rays of the sun of justice whose dawn was soon to arise from her so closely and so intensely enveloped her about she became herself the most beautiful aurora inflamed and refulgent as it were with the fiery clouds of the divinity which transformed all things within her all afire with love and gratitude for the approaching redemption she gave unceasing praise to the lord both in her own name and in that of all the mortals in this occupation she passed that day after the angels had again restored her to the earth i must grieve at my ignorance and shortcomings in explaining these so exalted mysteries and if learned men and great students cannot give an adequate explanation of these things how shall it be given by a poor and lowly woman may my ignorance be supplemented by the light of christian charity and my presumption be atoned for by my obedience instruction which most holy mary the queen gave me my dearest daughter how far removed is worldly wisdom from the admirable operations of the divine power in the sacraments of the incarnation of the divine word in my womb flesh and blood cannot reach them and not the angels and seraphim though they be of the highest nor can they know mysteries so deeply hidden and so far above the ordinary course of grace praise thou my beloved the lord for them with incessant love and thankfulness be thou not any longer slow in understanding the greatness of his divine love and his readiness to benefit his friends and dear ones whom he desires to elevate from the dust and enrich in diverse manners as soon as thou hast penetrated into this truth it will oblige thee to thank him and incite thee to undertake the great things that become a most faithful daughter and spouse and in order that thou mayest dispose thyself and be inspired so much the more i remind thee that the lord often says these same words to his chosen ones return return o sulamites that we may behold thee for he derives such a great pleasure from their deeds as when a father rejoices in his beloved and well-behaved son whom he looks upon many times with great affection or as an artist when he beholds with pride the perfect works of his hands or as a king who inspects the rich city which he has added to his dominions or as one who is pleased with his much-beloved friend there is only this difference the most high finds incomparably more delight than all these in the souls which he has chosen for his blessings and in proportion as they dispose themselves and advance in virtue the lord also multiplies his favours and benefits if the mortals that attain to the light of faith would enter into this truth they would merely on account of this complacence of the almighty in their good deeds not only preserve themselves from sin but they would zealously engage in great works until death and eagerly show their loving servitude to him who is so liberal in rewarding and so generous in his favours when on this eighth day which thou hast described the lord in heaven spoke to me these words return return asking me to turn toward him and allow the celestial spirits to look upon me i was made aware that the pleasure which his divine majesty derived in beholding me by itself exceeded all the delight and complacency which he ever derived from all the most saintly souls in the height of their sanctity in his gracious condescension he was more pleased in me than in all the apostles martyrs confessors virgins and all the rest of the saints and this pleasure and complacency of the most high overflowed and enriched my spirit with such an influx of grace and participation of the divinity that thou canst neither understand nor explain it as long as thou art in the mortal flesh 
but i tell thee of this hidden mystery in order that thou mayest bless its author and that while yet thy exile from the fatherland continues thou dispose and exert thyself in my place and name to extend and reach out thy hands to great things give to the lord the satisfaction expected of thee and strive after it thus earning his blessings and soliciting them for thyself and thy neighbour with perfect charity